Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about how to deal with loneliness. So loneliness can be a horrible, horrible problem that makes you have all kinds of negative thoughts that can completely destroy your life. And so, um, you know, I've, I've actually suffered from loneliness in my past. And, and uh, let me tell you some of the ways that I got over it and some of the things that you can do to get over it yourself. And so the first one is allowing yourself to feel lonely. So a lot of times what we do is we'll feel these emotions and then we will like push them away, you know, because we don't, we, we've been trained in our society that there are certain emotions that are negative that we shouldn't be feeling. And when you push that emotion away, it ends up becoming a part of your shadow. It becomes this part of you that you're afraid of, that you hide, that you try to suppress, but it always ends up coming back and, and blowing up in your face. And so the first uh, way to deal with loneliness is just to embrace it and just feel the loneliness, you know, just experience it, you know, go through it and, and uh, allow yourself to really feel it. And uh, that that in itself can can do a lot to get rid of it. The second one is expressing your feelings in whatever way you need to. And you know maybe you'll get uh, the loneliness will turn into anger, or maybe it'll turn into um, you know sadness, or you know whatever it turns into. Just allow yourself to feel it and allow yourself to express yourself uh, from that place because it's that expression that allows us to to kind of move through it. There's this saying that uh, goes, uh, the only way out is through, right? And it's like one of those uh, Chinese finger traps where you put the, the, the trap on your finger and the more you pull out, you know, the more you try to pull away from it, the more your finger gets stuck. But it's when you push your finger in that it uh, it releases your finger and then you can just pull your finger out and it's um, it's kind of the same way with a lot of emotions you know if you're feeling these emotions you need to go into the emotion and experience it fully and express yourself from that place and usually uh, doing that can really be a powerful way to release that emotion into the uh, away from you and into the world um, and the last one is getting support. A lot of times people feel like they need to take things on by themselves, but you don't need to. You can get support from friends and family. If you don't have friends and family that you feel could really support you, there are plenty of groups out there that you can get involved in. You know, uh, uh, Great groups are, are like personal growth communities. Personal growth communities a lot of times have great support systems in place where you can, you know, go and talk to people. You know, if, if it's really, really bad, you can go and see a therapist or something. Um, but go go and get some support and go get around people that, you know, care about you and, and want to see you well because there are probably people like that in your life. And, and uh, um, you know, if you open up to them, um, I think you might be surprised at, uh, at uh, what kind of a um, positive experience you can have from it. So that's it for today. If you want some information on uh, how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz there. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.